Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Paul Nisi, on SA's only democracy game show. Hello, Sambodani, Dumatekwane, Riperile, Vanakum, and welcome. We have six celebrity candidates, four rounds, but only two will campaign for the audience's vote in order to win a cash prize of 10,000 rands. Half of which goes to the charity of their choice. Oh, who knows our country and her democracy? We'll find out very soon. Meet our celebrities. We kick it off with uh, Aaron. What are you currently up to, uh, Aaron? I'm soon to appear on uh, one of the biggest soapies in this country. Mm. Mm. We look forward to that. Samela. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Awesome. Great. Your first love, stage or television? Ooh. Performance. Performance in general. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Freedom. I see something blinging there upon your finger, sir. Yes, yes, yes. This is, this is, this is the finger or the hand that I greet the ladies with. <laughs> That's freedom, everybody. Uh, I'm looking to do more things this year. I'm uh, preparing a, a nice little stand-up comedy one-man show. How are you with uh, your politics, though? Hey, politics, I, I know I'm not that great, you know, but I know how to vote. <laughs> Manaka Ranaka. What was the sitcom? A Stockfell. Stockfell. Did yeah. you enjoy that? I loved it. It was great. Um, I do have some kind of funny bone in me. Yes. Um, but uh, it was a sad end. But um, you know, it was great because then you know it opened more doors and yes. stuff. Ben. Yes, sir. You're somewhat of a comedian, I hear. I present mm -hmm. a show called The After Party. Mm -hmm. It plays. Past all your bedtimes, <laughs> so I'm surprised that anybody knows. But so what does that make you a party animal? I guess. What would you know about I politics? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, there's a lot of parties that, that, that are part of the elections. <laughs> so I'm just saying, you know, I think I'm I think I'm qualified. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, guys, meet Ben. <laughs> Well, uh, we've met our celebrity candidates. It's on to round number one. This is how it works. All you have is uh, two multiple choice questions each. There's 10 points per question, and you can get a maximum of 20 points. Now, the four candidates with the highest scores qualify to go through to the next round. Now, the two candidates with the lowest scores will be eliminated. Are you guys ready? Yeah. We're ready. Let the games begin. Aaron. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready as ever. I'm with you. Who is the South African Minister of Finance? Is it A, Trevor Manuel, B, Pravin Gordon, or C, Gil Marcus? B, Pravin Gordon. That is correct. Samela. That was nervous. Yep. What is South Africa's national animal? Is it A, the elephant? Is it B, the springbok? Or C, the white rhinoceros? B, the springbok. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed it is. Any which way, freedom must come. How many presidents has South Africa had since 1994, Freedom? Is it A, 2, B, 3, C, 4? Four. 4. C. C. Correct. Mtunzi. Yes, sir. <laughs> when going to vote, uh -oh. what must you take with you? Is it A, your passport, B, your driver's license, or C, your green barcoded ID or smart card? C. 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 That's so correct. <laughs> Manaka Ranaka. Mm. Which organization oversees the election process oh. in South Africa? Don't be scared. Is it A, South African Electoral Commission? B, Independent Electoral Commission? C, Electoral Institute of Democracy? I will eliminate the top and the bottom and go with B. Pat Nendao. Yeah. Stand up, Pat Nendao. Yes. <laughs> That's correct. I'll tell you what, the celebrities are looking good this evening. On to Ben. How many languages feature in the South African national anthem? Is it three? That is A, right? Mm -hmm. B, four, O, C, five. Uh, three. A. Whoa. 
Four. <laughs> B. Are you going with B or are you going with A? I'm going with B. It's incorrect. Mm. Ah, it's five. Let's move on. Second round of questions, Aaron. You're doing fairly well, 10 points I see. Mm -hmm. Looking good, sir. Who scored South Africa's first goal in the 2010 FIFA World Cup? Was it A, Simpio Shabalala, B, Itu Meleng Kune, or C, Stephen Penal? It was the one with the longest black hair, A, Simpio Shabalala. The one with the longest black hair? Yes. <laughs> it is indeed, Simpio Shabalala, A. Uh, Samela. Yellow. Who wrote Cry the Beloved Country? Oh my God. Is it A, Nadine Godema, B, Alan Patton, or C, J.M. Kutsia. Come on, you're an actress. You, you watch. Hey, hey, don't do that. Don't oh, did you not it. read the book? Oh. Hey, I watched the movie. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to push you for an answer. All right, I will go with B. B. It's yes. correct, Alan yeah. Patton. Tense yeah. moment there, I must tell you. You feel the pressure. Freedom. How many judges sit at the Constitutional Court? Is it A, 10, B, 11, or C, 12? I'm just going to throw the dice. On this throw one. it. 12. C. 12. C is incorrect. You're looking for 11. I knew B is the correct answer. Oh, no, you didn't, Mtunzi. <laughs> Don't try to get clever. <laughs> Mtunzi, on to you. In which year did Jan van Riebeck establish a refreshment station for the Dutch East Indian Company at the Cape of Good Hope? Is it A, 1562, B, 16? 52 or C 1752 it is your right to say that B is correct <laughs> no it's correct yeah <laughs> Manaka mm -hmm. Dr. Chris Bonner no. is a gentleman mm? who is uh, well known for A the heart transplant the kidney transplant or the liver transplant is it your heart? Sorry, my man, Buzo. A heart transplant. He did. With heart transplant, heart. indeed. She's yes, correct. Yes. Why are you mm. I see 20 over there, 20 over there, 10 right here, 20 over there, 20 over there. Ben. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> now, South Africa's constitution is the first in the world to explicitly prohibit unfair discrimination on the grounds of A. Sexual orientation, B. Gender, or C. Race. A. Sexual orientation. Sexual orientation is correct. So, was that easy or what, eh, guys? Well, it's sexual orientation. I mean, it's really important that one is uh, aware. <clears throat> well, I guess so. Congratulations, <laughs> candidates. Uh, unfortunately, uh, two will have to uh, bow down on this round. And unfortunately, Ben, I'll have to say uh, goodbye to you as well as uh, Freedom. Thank guys, you, so you did your best. Thank you so much for coming to the show. Thanks, man. Guys, give them a round of applause. <laughs> now, before we go to the next round, studio audience, it's your time to win. I'll ask you one multiple choice question. You vote by using uh, the clickers. By pressing one, two, or three, the fastest correct answer stands a chance to win a smartphone. Question two will come later on the show, and I'll announce uh, the results at uh, the end of the show. Are you ready? Yes! The question is as follows. The Constitutional Court has a collection of over 200 pieces of art, all relating to the Constitution in some way. Who was largely responsible for assembling the collection? Is it one, Judge A.B. Sachs, two, William Kenridge, or three, Chief Justice Pius Lang? Voting starts now. Voting is now closed. All your answers have been logged. The correct answer is A, Judge Albi Sex. <laughs> but you'll have to wait uh, till the next question to know if uh, you are indeed the winner. On to round number two. Quizmaster, please reset the scores. Now. The four contestants are in two teams, and they'll be playing Unscramble the Puzzle. <laughs> now, uh, the scrambled image is one of the milestones in the 20 years of our democracy. Now, in each team, one candidate searches for the clues. The other one has to unscramble the puzzle. Now, the first team to complete this puzzle with the correct description will win this round. 
You guys ready? Yeah. Guys, your time starts now. Well, welcome back. You're watching The Right to Win on SABC2. And on this round, which is round number two, our four remaining candidates are in two teams. Now, in each team, one unscrabbles a picture, the other one is looking through the clues, trying to identify the picture. Now, the first team to unscrabble the image and correctly describe the event wins. The losing team will lose one person. Let's see how the guys are doing. Aaron, how are you guys doing? It's like Looks like you got Desmond Tutu there, right? Getting there. Start of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. Truth and Reconciliation Commission. How's it going? Oh, it's coming. Well, let's not forget a lucky audience member will walk away with a smartphone. And you at home, you'll walk away with a tablet every week. So wait for the question at the end of the show, okay? I think they're getting closer. Tunzi and uh, Manaka seem to have completed the picture. Yes. All right, guys. Now, here comes the money question. Yeah. Please describe the image. Truth and Reconciliation Commission Archbishop Tutu during the TRC uh, Winnie Mandela hearing. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations, you guys got it. Very now, okay. the losing team, unfortunately one of you will have to be eliminated, ah. we'll have to go into a, <laughs> a sudden death round. The fastest hand on the buzzer first will count. Now, if the answer is wrong, the next candidate will have a chance to answer. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Well. What year did the Truth and Reconciliation hearings start? Damn! It was in 1995, shortly after the elections. That is incorrect. It was, in fact, 1996. <laughs> Next question, guys. What is the black consciousness name for South Africa? I've got that one. Go ahead. Azania. <laughs> that is correct! Yes! Someone who's not pleased is uh, Aaron. <laughs> well done, uh, Samela. Thank Aaron, you. unfortunately, I, I just think there's this whole thing. Uh, yeah, I want to go to the high court and contest this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not happy! <laughs> Surely you can't be that so. Well done, well done. Oh, thank nice. you very well much. Well Quickest hand on the buzzer. <laughs> well done, Aaron. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. You've been a gentleman. Yes, sir. Good luck. Well, as you can see, three celebrity uh, contestants remain. Only two will be allowed to campaign for the audience's votes. Who will ultimately win 10,000 rand? <laughs> In this round, you have to accumulate as many points as you possibly can in one and a half minutes to make it to the finale. Now, the fastest hand on that buzzer answers first. Now, that gets you uh, 10 points, but a wrong answer could cost you 10 points. Remember, the lowest score loses their chance to win the 10,000 rands. But the highest score will have an advantage. Find out more after you play Prussia Kuka. Okay, guys, are you ready? Yes, sir. Let's make money. First question. In a proportional representation system, do voters vote for a party or a person? Manak. A party. Is correct. Thank you. Which West African country criminalized homosexuality? Samantha. Uganda. Is incorrect. Oh. <laughs> Minus 10. Oh, no. It was Nigeria, in fact. Which is uh, the public holiday celebrated on the 1st of May every year called? Freedom Day. Freedom Day. No. Okay. Oh. Let's move on. <laughs> Minus, Minus 10 oh. points for Manak. Does the president have a vote in the National Assembly? No. Is correct. No, he doesn't. 
Which South African golfer has won nine major golf championships? Let's go, Mtunzi. Ernie Elf? The Big <laughs> Easy? It's incorrect. You're looking for Gary Player. Oh, Who oh, composed Nkosi Sigelela e Africa? Oh, man. 20 seconds left, Samela. Oh, my goodness. It's like right here. Uh, right here. Say right on the top of my tongue. I just Let's it move won't on. come out right now. She can't but say it. Let's move on. Minus yeah. 10, of oh, course. Come yes. On. What was the key reason behind the June 16 uprising in 1976? Let's go, Manak. Uh, abolishing a uh, bunch of education. Uh, Quizmaster says uh, incorrect. It was, in fact, the abolition of, of Africa as a medium of instruction. Yeah. We yeah. love you, Quizmaster. Which South African city is known as the Windy City? I do know that. It's uh, Port Elizabeth slash Nelson Mandela Bay. Correct answer. Yeah. Okay, guys, your time is up. Oh. Samela, it looks like uh, you're going through to the next round. Oh, gosh. Guys, on this end, <laughs> minus 10 each, so it means you'll have to go to sudden death. Yeah. Quizmaster, please reset their scores. Are you guys ready? Quickest hand to the buzzer. We'll get you through. From what syllabic abbreviation does Soweto derive its name? In tunes. Southwestern Township is correct. <laughs> Unfortunately, Manaka, you have the lowest score and uh, you've been disqualified. So close, hmm. but yes. yet so far. Please give a round of applause. <laughs> well, it's time to make one person in our studio audience very happy. Okay, you know how it works. Fastest second correct answer will be a winner. Clickers, ready? Yeah. Let's go. What was the primary role of the Constitutional Court when it was established? Is it one, to challenge South African court judgments? Two, to protect the South African Constitution? Or three, to help South Africans understand the law? Vote now. All right, so your vote has been logged. The correct answer is two, to protect the South African Constitution. But you'll only know who the lucky winner is at the end of the show.